my degree in econometrics is the heart of who I am. And it's exactly the heart of, it's exactly what I needed for my entrepreneurship. Because econometrics allows me to understand how the economy behaves and I try to move before the economy moves. Actuarial science was going to give me more mathematical, more understanding, more solving problem. But to wait, I want to solve economical business problems, not just solving problems. I'm not going to do insurance. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm going to be doing trades. There's a question here which relates to what you studied. Uh, and I remember, uh, you know, in the event that we were both invited to speak, you yeah. didn't, you said that you don't want to talk more about what you studied because that doesn't matter, you know. Uh, so the question goes like this. Um, given the similarities between actuarial science and econometrics and actuaries being in high demand, why did he choose to study econometrics over actuarial science? And how does econometrics factor or benefit his entrepreneurship? That's um, a good question, okay. eh? It's a good question. Smart people, yeah? Smart, smart, yeah. smart. No, it means that okay. my subscribers are, are people who are very, you know, enlightened here. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. this. Oh, you are teaching them, yeah. <laughs> Firstly, I will, I'll be honest and say, when I was in grade 11, I thought I was going to crack the results, but they didn't come out right. So I couldn't qualify for Exorio. Also, or most of my friends, I can say this now because I've wasted my time. I've tried to teach them maths, these guys, and they were just not keeping up. So because of that, I spent my time teaching the guys, so I didn't make the results that would get me to Exorio when I apply. But I could qualify for econometrics, which was not bad. It was similar. It was similar. I think with Exorio, I needed... A, all A's or, or something or some. I think I just, just two modules that I needed to get B's. So I didn't make it. But I'm a C student. And I said, what else can I take? Because I need some that is mathematical and that's going to take me within what I am. Econometrics was the one. But my degree in statistics, I just majored in econometrics. As I was doing my degree in statistics, I took some modules in Exorio just to see what else is there. But you know how the calculus is. It takes you there. <clears throat> That's what got me to do the modules. Um, <clears throat> at some point, I thought maybe studying econometrics was a limit, was a literal brother to Exorio. But econometrics has so much knowledge of understanding economics. Economics being the mother of business. You understand the behaviors of, in microeconomics, in macroeconomics, international economics, public economics. So it, gives me, it gave me exposure to understand how the public sector works, how international trade works, how micro level business work and how macro business work so i've built a business on a micro level and i've extended to macro level because i understand the micro and profits and whatever but i also understand scaling which is what got my business to be in uae and in the in estonia so because of that i understand trades now foreign exchange my degree in econometrics it's the heart of who I am. And it's exactly the heart of, it's exactly what I needed for my entrepreneurship. Because econometrics allows me to understand how the economy behaves and I try to move before the economy moves. Actuarial science was going to give me more mathematical, more understanding, more solving problem. But to wait, I want to solve economical business problems, not just solving problems. I'm not going to do insurance. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm going to be doing trade. So economic, econometrics is, is, is economic theories, but also with mathematics to apply them. Like you're trying to apply economics into, um, into real life and using numbers. So econometrics makes you understand beyond theory, beyond like information, beyond just insights. You, you go into data and analyze the data and say, will this work? Will this be the right direction? But now having the ability to understand data and systems and hiring software developers and data engineers, you are now able to build systems for corporates, analyze them, give them a perspective and allow their business to grow. So as you do that, they pay you monthly, pay you for the systems you've built and your company becomes sustainable on a micro level. On a macro level, you understand that you cannot just operate in your country alone. Your country alone, let's say 
analytics advertise makes a certain X amount in South Africa. I'm in five countries in, South, in Africa. And all of them are moving. Mm. That's the numbers. So, macro level allows me to understand that one country will give me X, but two countries will give me three X. And as I do three X, cut the cost, leverage what I have in the headquarters here in South Africa and do, like what I'm saying is I can have data scientists here in South Africa and just have consultants and business developers there. When they get the job and whatever, software developers this side get to do the job, which means that on that side, I'm no longer spending as much. International trade, levies and quotas. I realize that's why I'm leveraging AFCFTA, African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. You see me with those guys. You see me at African Union. What am I doing at African Union? Do you know I'm the, one of the few, if not the only one, entrepreneur who is in the African Union and in those meetings of AFCFTA? Why? Because I want to understand the African Free Trade Area Agreement. I understand the economics. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pay levies and, 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 and quarters and all of this international trade stuff. I'm going to leverage them as much as possible and I'm going to be a continental helper in technology. And as I do that, more continental people brings me on. Then you know what? I'm a BRICS chairperson. They put me as a G BRICS chairperson. Your job as a chairperson is to connect international, uh, into, is to connect local business to become international business. If any business wants to operate in Russia, in China, in, you, in, in India, they can talk to us in the IBF. We will help them. But I'm the, I'm the chairperson. Why do I want to know how Russia trades and how China trades and how India trades? Econometrics. <laughs> I want to understand the macro level, international trade. And because as I'm moving as an econometrics or as whatever, I already have the background and the knowledge. So they receive me. They know that I understand what is international trade and how we can move it. That's why they pushed me as a chairperson. Why didn't they put any other entrepreneur? There's a difference. Because I'm not just a face. I'm the information person. It's the same degree. So that's what, that's, it's everything I am. Yeah. You know, I was telling this other entrepreneur as we were talking about this kind of things. Um, and I was saying to him that I think as an entrepreneur, one needs to take time. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an academic, but yeah. I can tell you this. I have a, I have a psychology textbook Ooh. that I read. Which one was that? I have a, uh, it's just the psychology, you know, like that is, is a textbook. It's not I, like a book, it, oh, like yeah, a textbook. Yeah. It, it talks about psychology, yes. It's psychology, the course and, and stuff like that is, is, a, is, a, is a textbook. Um, I also have a, a very, I bought this other book, uh, uh, is an economics book, you know, it has microeconomics and microeconomics in it. Yeah. Um, uh, because I, I, I've learned this. Uh, I work with people every day, you know, because I'm a lecturer. Yes. I think understanding people. <laughs> Where they are coming the, from. Yeah, and, and how they think. And, and, and Because if you talk about marketing, it's all about understanding people. You talk about entrepreneurship, getting a product and stuff like that. I, I, I co-founded a company. Um, it's just that, uh, you know, you know when you co-found a company with uh, we, we yes. a group and stuff like that? I know. I know. The smart people, you were passing assignment together, so it's the same as a business. No. Yeah, no. The the, the 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 relationship was well. I think it was good, but it's just that I think uh, personally we were going through some stuff, you know, individually, and and I think we couldn't be able to 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 to, to do that because we just thought, okay, you're just gonna co-found a business, have a product, and the product makes sense to you as an entrepreneur to say, okay, this is the product. Yeah. But man, the ground doesn't act like that, you know. <laughs> we started <laughs> now to. Is different, bro. Yeah, the ground is different. Now we started to be like, oh, now we have these people because our our our, our, our because our business uh, was a health business. You know, I'm, I'm I'm very passionate about health and education, so it was a health business. But now we found that actually the people we're trying to target on this, not these there. people, they are not there. Their mindset is not yet there. So we are selling a product to people who they they don't think they need the product. Yes. You see, so then around. we're like, and you're gonna run around and stuff like that. So now it shifted me to say, actually, 
uh, study people and understand the people, understand your target market, understand how they think, what they do, and stuff like that. So, so, so that's why I'm, I'm even reading in psychology because I'm, I'm and, and you spoke yeah, about behavioral, uh, be, and you spoke about behavioral economics as well just mm-hmm. now. Understanding those kind of things, as in, I think, as an entrepreneur, can put you on a good leverage. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. My brother, I've, I'm not from advertising. I didn't do any advertising in class, but I used to go to advertising class. I used to go to advertising class. I learned this from Steve Jobs. When I, I came across the Steve Jobs book, uh, interview, that Stanford interview, when I was in, in my first year, 2009, from that time I knew that he said that he used to go to a class learning some typography or something. From that time, I knew that I also need to add some things that I'm interested in. So I used to go to advertising class back at Tux. That advertising class became part of my company, Analytics Advertising. I connected numbers with advertising. And then that company became a multi-award winning company. If I didn't go to that advertising class, I wouldn't know how to convert the maths and the behavioral economics to advertising. I wouldn't know that. I've lectured also. Mm-hmm. I lectured in family. When I was lecturing, one of the students, I now get them saying that you used to tell us this. One of the students said, you seem to have so much knowledge. In why, why don't you apply it? I knew then that <laughs> I need to go out. I go out yeah, and I'm yeah, yeah. 2014. So I need to go out and, and be on the field and practice what I preach. So one of the students sent me a message on Instagram. He says, you used to tell us this. And thank you for showing us the direction from theory level to practical. So a person can say, this guy talks a lot of this. I've walked this thing. Like, there's nothing that I can't say that, that I can say now that I haven't touched. I've tried it, you know. And you have to be so authentic with yourself that, so that it works. Because if it's not connected to you, it will be a fluke. It, it will, it's, it's like a house built on a, there's no foundation. And the Bible talks about that. You have to build yours with a foundation. Because it's not about how another person is moving. It might be easy for Mr. Banks to walk in and then he wins, you know, for example. But maybe it takes you 30 years to craft this model. That's what it is because yours is so powerful that it will stand the test of time. For it to go 1,000 years, it needs to be down deep foundation. So there's no need to compare because we are walking different routes. But we need to appreciate the hustle and say that, yo, we are all in this. Well, let's teach each other. Let's be in each other's platforms. Let's walk as much as we are on the same time. Let's 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 make something remarkable. 